Let's go ahead and set up a character now that we've set up the project in the scene. We can do that by first creating a standard character through the character manager and we want to create a first person character that does not have an animator and we'll hit build character. So now that the character is built we can go to the character tab of the VR manager and we'll drag the character in. For hand tracking I want to leave it at two because I'm using a rift that has two touch controllers and I want each hand to behave independently but I could have also selected one which is useful for like the Oculus Go that has just a single controller or if I don't want any hand tracking at all I can select none. But we'll leave it at two and because I selected two it's asking for a right hand and a right or and a left hand. So let's go ahead and find the game objects that will represent that. So we have no one left hand and we have no one right hand. If I bring those in Okay, let's take a closer look at them. We'll see that they're just the hand game object that, uh, that was attached to the Nolan character from the regular demo scenes. So that's all there is to it. Now let's go ahead and drag that into the right hand field. For the animator controller, I'm going to select right hand and I'm, this right hand will allow the character's hand to like grip something or pick up a weapon or something like that. It just uses the same animator parameters as the regular controller uses. And then the item slot parent is specifies where the item should be parented to. So I go over this in more detail in the items video, but we'll select this right hand game object. And now we need to do very similar steps for the left hand. So let's go ahead and select the left hand animator. And then we will select the left hand parent. And that's all there is to it. So now let's click on the character. We'll see that we have this new movement type called first person VR. If I scroll down, we can see that we have some new abilities that are specific to VR. And then we also have some new item abilities that are specific to VR. So now, in theory, if I hit play, we should be able to see my character moving around with my hands. So I'll get hit play. And let's see, there my hands are. So that worked well. Now the teleport ability has been set up. So if I use one of the joysticks, I should be able to teleport to a new location. So let's go ahead and try that out. So I'm using the right joystick, and there we go. So that worked well.